Okay, so this is Q4 OS. Uh, now I haven't used this before, but I found it on the Berry Boot test images uh, site. And so if you look at this video, this will show you how you install test images if you want this operating system. Same process, you're just looking for this Q4 OS. So let's have a look. So we have a desktop profiler now the first time this loaded, the desktop profiler came up and it hanged on uh, a particular screen and I couldn't get past it, but I shut it down. This is the next day and uh, so I'm not going to run it again, but it, it basically allows you to set it up for three different setups. A very minimal one, uh, one with all Office apps in and also this one which is the in-between one. So install applications, I can see what happens here. Uh, here we go, so we can choose what we want to put in there additionally. So Synaptic is a very good package manager. You can see Chromium is on there, LibreOffice, VLC, switch between different visual desktop themes, that looks interesting as well. So how do you, so if I click on it, I don't know what it, oh I see there's an install application at the top. So let's try that in uh, the look switcher and install application. You have no desktop profile yet. It's highly recommended to apply a desktop profile before installing applications. Mm. Oh look, desktop spelled wrong, desktop. So let's go back and see if it works, the desktop profiler. So run desktop profiler. Yeah, so I this was the one I picked, the basic Q4 OS desktop. So we've got ultimately minimal desktop. You'll be free to set up anything yourself. Basic Q4 OS with common utility system tools and libraries, and then full feature desktop with web browser, Office Suite, and recommended applications. I'm not too worried about Office, um, but it, it's it's surely going to be uh, LibreOffice. So let's click on that and hit install. Yeah, this is what I had before. The package is busy. Okay, so let's quit out of that because there's obviously something not quite right there. Proprietary codex. Turn on desktop effects, smoothing and beautifying effects. So that will usually make uh, computers slower. Switch to kick off start menu. So auto login. Right, let's get, oh, there's more options here as well. So screen scaling, hardware info, documents online. See what the hardware info comes up with. Desktop Trinity R1407. Distro Raspbian, Raspberry Pi, kernel. This is my 4 gig Pi because still Barry Boot doesn't work on the 8 gig Pi. Um, but people are looking into it. I've tried a few things but they haven't worked. So let's close that down. Close that down and let's just look at it as a normal operating system. Unmounted removable medium. That looks like a clipboard, yeah. Uh, that's my internet connection volume and a clock. So down here we've got show desktop. That's an old, that looks like XP, doesn't it? I'm sure that looks like XP. And Conqueror, I don't know what Conqueror is. Looks like that's the web browser. A good start. Oh, something's wrong there. Now is this because the clock is wrong? Which it might be. Right, let's try it again, now the time's set. No, still not working. So internet wise, I did set my Wi-Fi up. Yeah, I'd say that's up and running. So Ah here we go. Do you want to install the Chromium browser? I guess I will. Package system is busy now. Setup cannot continue. We'll ask for, for Chromium browser installation later, or you can install any time from the Q4 OS software center. Okay, well let's carry on with this one for now. Oh, it looks like it doesn't search. You have to put a URL in this. There we go. So now BBC. Oh, it comes out in a weird, a weird font. Crikey, this is a minimal browser, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, that would be the sort of browser that you would have for uh, a very low speed internet. So remember that there's other things you can install into this. I'm just working with that sort of medium install. So control panel. Yeah, this definitely has an old Windows style to it, doesn't it? So my documents, install applications, web browser, control panel. Yeah, there's not a lot here uh, in this sort of 
media, I would be interested to see how much is in the minimal one. Let's try that install applications again and see if we can get something going here. So Chromium install. You have no desktop profile yet. Yeah, so I can't get past the uh, desktop profiler. So let's try the minimal one. It's bound to give me an option. Unless I try the full one. Let's try the full one. Not really install now, set up, cannot continue. The lock is caused most likely by ongoing background system updates. If this is the case, you have to wait a moment for the package system to finish these operations. Please make sure you are not installing another application and repeat setup a few minutes later. Okay, well this is a Barry Boot test image. Um, it looks all right. Uh, it's nice to see that you can get these choices as you start up. Uh, it's very straightforward to install, uh, especially if you're used to an old Windows system. Just as an extra note, I thought I'd try sudo apt update and it's found 36 packages. So let's try sudo apt upgrade and see if that will fix that problem. So do you want to continue? Yes. So that's all done. So let's reboot. So I changed my password. Uh, it prompts you to change your password at one point, but it starts off as Pi and Raspberry. Okay, so we've had all our updates. So run desktop profiler. We'll go for the basic one and install. <laughs> okay, failed no, oh no internet link. Oh, so what it does as well is it seems to not automatically connect to my network. So it's been, the password's been put in and everything, but it doesn't seem to automatically do it. So let's, now we've got the internet back up and running. Uh, run desktop profiler, the basic Q4 OS desktop and install. That's better. Now it's working. But you were greeted with that desktop profiler screen before and it wouldn't work until you've done sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade in my instance. So I don't know if that's common, um, but uh, it would be nice if it just went straight into this because it would be a much more user friendly way of setting up. Because it looks like lots of effort has been made to make this very straightforward, very simple to use. So you can see oxygen icon theme. So there's themes being installed in here. Yeah, they've definitely done a, a sort of more automated, uh, so a, a more sort of Windows take on Linux. Whereas Raspbian is very much about you doing all the updates yourself and you prompting the updates, which keeps it very snappy and, and works very well. But uh, some real novices would maybe struggle with that and not, not, have, not be able to put in the terminal commands. Whereas something like this, a bit like Ubuntu does, where it does updates itself. Now, a lot of people don't like that. Uh, I quite like it that you you tell the computer exactly when to update, but uh, but each to their own. It's, uh, you know, if, if you're using it with someone who, who isn't used to using computers, they might not mind that it says it's updating every now and then and it, and it applies the latest updates and security updates. Has been exited with an error code. Please try to run desktop a few minutes later again. Oh, come on. Insta installation not successful. So I guess it's still not going to I'm going to go for the minimal one because there's obviously less there. I've got an internet connection. Let's hit install. Oh, okay. So this is the minimal one then. So let's just try that basic one and just see if it, if it looks a bit more interesting. Or is it going to do exactly the same thing again? No, nope, still coming up with an error. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back into that. I'm going to do the minimal desktop and let it do that because then it thinks it's finished. And once we've got to that stage, then we can surely install applications. So yeah, definitely a nicer um, nicer way of installing the apps than Raspbian when you first start off. So Chromium, install application. Yeah, now it's working, look. Result passed, okay. Oh, errors were encountered while processing something swap file, DFIS swap file. Okay, I'm probably going to leave this there. <laughs> I did have another stab at it, but uh, I think I'm maybe going to come back to this uh, at another time. Again, this is a beta image. If you like the look of this and you think this is an operating system you want, probably better to go to their official website and put it on an SD card and try it there. So this Berry Boot test image probably isn't ready. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.